Обаче, да, тази статуя е много хубава как се направи. Да. Ако е време, то е по-скоро. Колко е време? Не, а, ай, а, Те изглеждаш. По-пишно. Ще ги тук са близо пред нас, а тук са близо.
Министър председател Мусаев, вгледайте се внимателно в лицето ми. Ако се вгледате добре, ще разпознаете лицето на баща ми. Генерал Василий Топов не беше само мой баща, той беше мой другар. Беше мой командир в сраженията. И сега неговата борба за освобождение на Пасалан е моя борба. Аз командвам неговата армия. И няма да се спра пред нищо, за да спъдна неговите мечти. Господин Мусаев, окупирали сме Черногилската атомна електроцентрала. Изоставеният град около комплекса е под наш контрол. Не можете да ни игнорирате повече. Сега вече ние сме окупаторите. Всеки опит да се проникне отвъд границите ще бъде посрещнат с мощна съпротива. В реактора са поставени експлозиви, детонаторите ще се съдействат след 72 часа. Не отговорите ли на нашите искания, те ще се взривят. Такава експлозия би предизвикала радиация стократно по-силно от бомбите пуснати на Япония. Призоваваме към незабавно освобождаване на всички 227 политически затворници. Искаме пълна и безусловна независимост на Пасалан. Няма да приемем нищо по-малко от това. Господин Мусаев, тази битка вече не е само политическа. Не е само за земя, тя е за кръв. Моята кръв вече и ваша. Ние държим децата ви. Пренебрегнете ли моите искания, те ще умрат първи. Прикамо ви да действат отговорно. Не искаме само да бъдем свободни. Вие искате също за вашите деца. Come on, come on. That's it. Hey, take it easy. This way. Okay, come on, come on. Over there, right over there. All right, now take it easy, take it easy. Hey, easy! For Christ's sake, there's spare parts in there. Morons. How do you feel? I feel good. Any problems? No. Do you know where you are? Yes. Do you know why you're here? Yes. Is it necessary for you to question the things you don't know? No. Excuse me, doctor. Thank you. Okay. Can you please move your right fingers one by one, beginning with the forefinger? Limited range. All right. Okay. Do you feel warm? Yes. I'm going to cool you off.
So you've seen the security tape from the museum? I have. You want to describe what you saw, or shall I? I saw an armed assailant take direct hits to vital areas and still manage to overpower a security detail. Did this remind you of something? White Tower was shut down over a year ago. Maybe it was something else. Maybe. But we should still prepare for the worst, however remote the possibility. So if we assume the worst, the problem becomes ours to share. Hypothetically. So then, hypothetically, what is our shared solution? On April 26, 1986, Chernobyl reactor number four exploded. Worst nuclear power plant accident in history. The ensuing fire released a plume of highly radioactive fallout into the atmosphere. The city of Chernobyl was evacuated and has remained abandoned for over 20 years. We believe the rebels have set up their bunker in one of the buildings adjacent to the reactor complex, about two miles due east from our current position in Chernobyl city. While the site itself no longer has enough fuel to make a bomb, it has 100 times the radiation. An explosion in reactor number three would release that radiation. And now for the bad news. It appears the General Sun has gotten his hands on some of our weaponry. Here to explain, Dr. Richard Porter. In the 1960s, with war in Asia looming, the US began research into Operation Black Tower, what we've now come to call the Universal Soldier Program. A high response, self-sustaining, quick healing, stronger, faster soldier, fueled by high concentrate nutritional supplements. A soldier that operates without conscience or hesitation. By freezing a human body with nitrogen-based gas, repairing it and reheating it through thyroid and pituitary augmentation, we were able to revive a recently deceased soldier and in the process, improve them. Programmable and erasable. One that you can turn on and turn off. Deceased, as in dead? That's right. Five years ago, the program was suspended, or rather replaced, by a program known as White Tower. Led by Dr. Robert Collin under my supervision, White Tower sought to improve and perfect what Black Tower had introduced. Using gene therapy techniques developed during Dr. Collin's cloning research, we were able to give our unisols a DNA tune-up from the inside out. The new model was superior in every physical capacity. A virtual killing machine. The next generation Unisols, or NGUs as we like to call them. There was, however, an incident in a government building. Twelve dead. Nobody injured. It was considered to be a malfunction, though I believe their temperature had not been properly moderated. We were instructed to shut down all the existing NGUs, which we did, but there was a break-in. Some things were taken, including a Series 7 model. We have reason to believe it was my former colleague, Dr. Collin. We suspect he's been continuing his studies. 
Colin's been operating out of Eastern Europe as a gun for hire. Gentlemen, we'll be fighting against the perfect soldier, one who is impervious to injury and pain, quicker than hell, and with a nervous system unaffected by radiation. We have four first-generation unisols that are more than capable in this type of endgame. Dismissed. You say four, Colonel. That's correct. I saw there was five. There were. Now there's four. What happened to the fifth? He's the subject of a privately funded program run by Dr. Sandra Fleming, Project Phoenix. Doing what? Behavioral modification therapy, or psychological rehabilitation, as Dr. Fleming calls it. She's trying to reintroduce him into society. He was one of the very first, but by far the best of the group. Dr. Fleming has been conducting her research in Switzerland. I think of escape. Peaceful feeling. Shame. Why do you say that? I don't know. Yes, you do. Just say the first thing that comes into your mind. I don't remember. Maybe for things I have done. What have you done, Luke? I don't know. I think he's hungry. Why don't you feed him? How do you feel? Helpless. Maybe you're feeling the weight of responsibility. It's what it feels like to grow older, Luke. Do you realize how far you've come? Two years ago, when we started this, when you first woke up, you couldn't remember the day before. My head feels full. It's just another stage in your development. We're getting there. You may have forgotten our agreement, Doctor, but I haven't. Consider this my last reminder. I haven't forgotten. I've been in surgery, which appears to be quite a success. So when will we do it? I told you I'm going to run a diagnostic. I have to guarantee the safety of my men, as well as my own. It'll be taken care of. So you want to wait? Then I guess the wire transfers can wait as well. What's the hurry, right? Miles. Yes, doctor. The general's son is growing anxious. He'd like to be microchipped this instant. It can't possibly wait. I'm nobody's son anymore, Doctor. It is Commander Topov. Oh, <laughs> right. I've done it to myself. It does hurt a little bit now. Maybe for you. Feel safe is active, sir. Satisfied? No, my men. Fine. Round them up.
Gentlemen, two-prong objective, securing of the reactor site and the dismantling of the detonators and the extraction of the two known hostages. Now, we have reason to believe that the children are being held here. However, their positions could be fluid, so we're moving in on a staggered six-front maneuver. Disable all communication and transportation vehicles that you encounter. And remember the objective. If it comes down to either or, we go big picture and we take the reactor. Are there any questions? What if we encountered the freak? Avoidance if you can. Keep it occupied. Is that the best you could do, Doctor? It's probably programmed to defend the reactor site. So it'll stick close to it like a nest, making it impossible to use high-powered weaponry in the presence of the explosives. Captain, your men should not engage with the NGU. That's what my men are for. It's hot in here. Take your coat off. We've been here before? Every week. That's what I thought. Can I get you guys some coffee? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll have some coffee, thanks. What would you like, Luke, to drink? Uh, orange juice. Great, I'll be right back to take your orders. How are your knees feeling? A little better. I think the anti-inflammatories are working. We need to get you some more of those. The weather reports that there may be another snow front on the way. Could get a couple of inches over the weekend. I think the cold weather's been affecting your joints. The next shipment should be in by next week, so hopefully. Take the north side.
top perimeter of structure three. We're going in. Over. Bert, the show's on. Send them in and provide cover. Sir, we have successfully taken out all lines of defense. We need to send in two units. Negative. Send in the freaks. That's an order, Bert. Pull back. Roger that. It's all yours, boys. Don't fuck it up. Tell two and three one is down. We need two, three, and four to triangulate on the new position. Do it! Fast. They can't track you. All right, let's get four to the reactor. Move. Get him four. We're moving to the reactor, sir. We're moving. Sir, 
Watch the reactor right now. Okay, there they are. There they are. Shut them down, Adam, doctor. Sir, deactivate. Repeat it. Deactivate. Evac. Send the order. Bert, complete evac. Pull them out. It's evac. Pull evac. back now. Please Get everybody evac. out of there. Fuck. Colonel. Tell them to retreat. Get them out. Get the men out of there. Retreat. Get them all retreat. out. Tell them that retreat. is an order. You're not coming in clear. Sir. Transportation. No, no. Request transport. Go, cool, go. Cool. Listen to me, goddammit. You're coming with me. Go oh, now. Take him with you. Go. Take him with you. Go. Bonjour. Is it coming? Thank you. 
How's my boy? Hmm? I feel good. Good. That's very good. That's my good boy. Yes. Magnificent. because we're going to give you a chance to explain the situation when they get here. I've told you from the You got are sitting gonna... ducks out there. You don't need to tell me. I saw it with my own eyes. If you let us in, we would have taken them out ourselves. You didn't stand a chance. You never did. Hey, hey, hey come on. Knock it off. Get back. You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. It took on your entire outfit and forced you to retreat. One man. We're talking about a perfect specimen. One who knows nothing other than to obey an order. Something you seem to know nothing about. Fuck, knock hey, your hey, teeth hey, hey. out. What the hell was that? Those in the midst of an act of aggression. This imprudent act of aggression has resulted in a swift response. We have detonated one of the explosives surrounding the reactor. Consider it a warning shot. The world isn't here to a fight for us to be better in the world. They have allowed me to stop. Think about your children. They have allowed me to stop. Think about your children. They have allowed me to stop. Think about your children. They have allowed me to stop. Знаете, я слышу, знам как се чувства въща ви. Знам какво ума. Не човек се надява, че семейството му ще бъде безопасност. Иска му се. И когато то не е, тази тормози, като рак. Разликата е, че въща ви може да промени това. По-скоро бих умряла, колкото да видя баща ми как се предава. Купеле нещастно. Може да се научи. Ей, Стокхолм синдром, а? Бандинг с капитализма. Ай, не съм тъчен. Какво е това с теб, доктор? Дали ти спикал на твоя школа? О, да, 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 да
I was asthmatic, bad athlete, terrible skin. And don't be so hard on yourself. No, no, it's true. Perhaps I overcompensated. Yes, we all congratulate you on your science project. Now, why don't you go back to your room? You're boring us. <laughs> hey, you know, kids, this is an important lesson. You always have to ask yourself, who's in control? It's not always the one doing the talking. Sometimes it's the guy in the background. I mean, okay, let's be honest with ourselves here. You call that an army? Come on, it's a bunch of peasants with slingshots. But just one of my men, just one, that's all it took. Now, I want you to imagine an army of men like that. That, children, that is real power. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Very captivating. Thank you. So <laughs> може би ти искаш да кажеш нещо. Or maybe your poodle would like to get a word in. <laughs> My poodle. <laughs> well, he's kind of shy. No, please. He's uh, not blessed with the gift of the gab. <laughs> <laughs> Then maybe you can shut the fuck up and do what I'm paying you for. Hey. You're the boss. We think that the uh, main detonators are over here. Pull back and encompass the whole compound. Copy that, sir. That's the cooling tower. If we can get in those pipes, we can access the reactor there. It's probably been capped off after the accident, but it can be reopened, sir. He's here. Hello, Luke. I expect you're feeling somewhat fatigued. That's normal. The sedation should wear off soon enough. Sandra. Uh, Dr. Fleming is here and has authorized this examination, so there should be no cause for alarm. We're your friends. Your home look. I have a few questions for you. Please answer yes or no. I want to talk to Sandra. Just answer the questions. Do you see yourself as a person who is a reliable worker? Yes. Do you see yourself as a person who is original, comes up with new ideas? No. Is relaxed, handles stress well? Yes. Starts quarrels with others? Sometimes. Yes or no? Sometimes. I'm going to give you something that will help with your recovery. I'm gonna make you feel better, Luke. I'm gonna make you whole again. Where am I? We started on a mixture of both psychotropic drugs and aerogenic. His system isn't ready for that. Methophenidate and mentality. Please, listen to me. His nervous system will break down. You can't reverse years of hormonal therapy in a day. It's like rehabilitating a fight dog, then putting it back to fight. This could backfire in a myriad of ways. Rehabilitation was never part of his design. And as you can see, is at odds with his nature. He was created to serve a need, and he's not doing that. But now you're just compounding the situation. Dr. Fleming, you have to ask yourself whether a dog, once it has tasted blood, can ever forget that taste. There is substantial power inside of him that I have spent two years regulating. If you unleash it this quickly, you may not be able to control it. Just get him up to speed, Doc. You let me worry about controlling it.
Listen, you said something about some pipes earlier. Yes, sir. You still think you can get in through there? No, I can, sir. Okay, we're gonna try this your way. Listen to me. This is strictly recon. Do not engage this thing. It's not combat, you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Why is she in there? Unfortunately, at the moment, she's the only one he trusts. You know, in business, as in life, people are so distrustful. They always want insurance. Yes, sir. I mean, whatever happened to the handshake deal? Am I right? You're right, sir. Failsafe. Everybody wants a failsafe. But where's my failsafe? Hmm? You understand? Yes, doctor. No, no, I'm asking you. Where's my failsafe? This is your failsafe. And uh, why is that? Hmm? Because the NGU cannot hurt the commander and his men. Right. But, but he can. Indeed, he can. Very smart, Doctor. Of course it is. 
You see, Miles, there's always a way around things. Now, I want you to count his fingers and toes. No, I'm just kidding. We've come a long way from replicating sheep, wouldn't you say, Miles? Yes, sir. Happy birthday, my boy. Tip them off too soon. Find the kids. Do not engage the freak. We need you alive. Roger that. Той ще изпълни заканата си, нали знаеш? Слушаш ли ме? Трябва да направя обращение към страната след час. Не мога да обсъждам това с теб сега. Господи, не си сам в това. Мислиш, че не знаеш това ли? Изпращането на войската беше действие на отчаян човек и това ме плаши. Те не би оставиха никакъв избор. Господи, направиха го. Редно ли е да жертваме живота на другите, а... После какво? Какво доказваш? Моите задължения се простират отвъд мен, самия. Отвъд моя син и дъщеря. Задължения пред кого? Пред твоя образ в историята! Ако позволиш нещо да се случи, няма да ти го прости никога. Is you guys picking this up, Oliver? It's a female voice. That must be where he's got the kids. We don't have all day, Miles. Yeah, right. Okay, doctor. All right. Um, Miles is going to run the diagnostic today, Andrew. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, first question. You are a punctual and reliable person. Yes. You know how to make efficient use of your time. Yes. Okay. Friends find, friends find you impulsive and unpredictable. No. You like to spend leisure time relaxing in a tranquil family atmosphere. Yes. You often contemplate the complexity of life.
Yes. Andrew, did you hear the question? Hook him up. Yes, sir. Okay, just a sec. Andrew, listen carefully. You often contemplate the complexity of life. No. That's right. You have to listen, Andrew. It's important. е в криза. Решенията ми се диктуват от един единствен принцип. Да служа на общото благо на народа, без значение какво ще се пожертва за постигането на целта. Макар гордостта да ни потиква да отвърнем на агресията с агресия, човечността изисква мирно решение на конфликта с средствата на дипломацията. За това унези, в чието ръце е властта, са призвани да поставят под съмнение всяка твърда политическа линия, която застрашава оцеляването на нацията. Ето защо. Дадох разрешение 110 затворника да бъдат освободени в замяна на деактивирането на детонатора в Чернобилски реактор 3. През следващите 48 часа всички войски ще се отеглят и ще прекратят военните действия, докато си изпълнят условията на замяната. Тогава останалите затворници ще бъдат освободени в замяна на заложници. We might have had our share of differences, but it is the result that is important, yes? Oh, yes. For a world leader to give in to the demands of a small outfit, such as our own, one should savor the rarity of the experience. The thing is, to stop at this moment would be a shameful waste of both leverage and position. Yeah, you're young. You'll learn, but uh, now we have to move. It is over, and that is that. That's not really for you to say, because there have been expenses, unanticipated expenses. It's hard to budget these things in advance. Now, I have an army to build, and uh, like you said, moments like these don't often present themselves. I don't think you're hearing me. <laughs> You want to fuck around? Is that what you're trying to do? You have been paid. You and me, our business together, it is all over. You want to try to test me? Huh? Easy. Easy. Who is this? Vasily!
Very good. That's a good boy. We have to go now. You have to finish your job, and then we'll go. Hmm? The children. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> no, you cannot. You often contemplate the complexity of life. <laughs> hey, it's not for you to ask questions. Understand. Andrew. Yes or no? <laughs> Andrew, you're, uh, you're tired. You've been through a lot today. Are you a punctual and reliable person? I don't like your tone. Sit. You answer my question. I'm not gonna... How do you feel? Do you, do you feel warm? Do you need me to uh, cool you off? Hmm? Answer me. Answer my question. You answer my question. I'm not gonna... Andrew, I want you to sit down. I need to help to cool you off now, please. Sit down. I order you to sit. Stop it. You have to... You know how to put every Andrew, minute of your it. time to good no, purpose. This is Are you rested? Are you happy? No, stop, stop. No. Yes or no? You often think about humankind and its destiny. Yes or no? who can be killed? Let's hope so. Now come with me and be very quiet. Come on. Come on, let's go. They've reactivated the detonators. What the hell are you talking about? Look. What's the communication status on Captain Burke? None. Game is back on. We've got no way of knowing if anyone's alive over there. What about Burke? Nothing. Is it possible your creation might have an episode, Dr. Porter? It's possible. 30 minutes. We're officially at DEFCON 1. Where are we with Devereaux? As he is right now, he wouldn't stand a chance against the NGU. Dr. Fleming? If we proceed with the double dosage and leave him something in reserve, it's possible we can get him there. Then let's do it. But understand, this is your last bullet. Assuming he survives, there'll be no controlling him, no communication hookup. He'll know only what he's been programmed for, to find those kids and stop the detonation. Beyond that... Who's gonna dose him? It's not gonna be safe in there. I'll do it. No, I will. I owe it to him. I know 
know what's happening. What is happening, Luke? I'm going back. I'm going to fight. Yeah. I remember. Give it to me. I'll do it. I want to be here with you. It's not safe for you. It's okay. Go now.
keep asking them questions, just trying to get some kind of answer. Nothing. Just a simple yes or no. It's ridiculous. I knew I had something to tell you. It was it's right there. The tip of my tongue. Shit. And I'm sure I'll remember it in a minute. Just, just wait right there. Something so familiar. Can't explain it. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? You understand. You don't have to answer. We're good like that, right? We've been over this all before. I'm just gonna do something here. I just remember what I wanted to tell you. Wait a second. Luke. He's just used the booster shot. Something must have slowed him down. We'll get another 20 good minutes out of him. I hope.
Come with me.